This video is sponsored by The Ridge. So a viewer wrote me and asked if I knew about the five minute score. I can honestly say no, but he sent me a post, so I went down a rabbit hole. Can you really score your bread after baking it for a bit? Let's look into that. Hi, I'm Soon and I'm a food geek. So I've seen these videos of people baking their sourdough bread and then after it's baked for a bit, they take it out and score it or even expand on the score. It's called the five minute score, implying that the bread is scored after five minutes of baking. So what is it good for? Well, I can come up with two different reasons. One, if the dough is partially set, it's easier to score the dough. Two, it, to give an oven spring beyond anything that you could get naturally. If you can come up with other reasons why this might be good, please leave a comment down below. I don't use a regular wallet anymore. I've switched to the Rich wallet that expands to hold up to 12 cards plus room for cash while remaining as slim as possible. They come in over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber, burnt titanium, base camp orange, and a gorgeous red color. Now I've also switched my keys over to the Ridge key case. It looks gorgeous and holds up to six keys and prevents your keys from jingling. Get up to 30% off your order when buying the Ridge wallet and key case together. If you're interested, use my link rich.com slash foodgeek. That's rich.com slash foodgeek. Also save 10% using the coupon code foodgeek. Thanks to Rich for sponsoring this video. So the bread we're baking today is my standard experiment bread. 80% bread flour, 20% rye flour, 2% salt, 80% hydration, and 20% starter. The only difference will be in how the two loaves are scored. The control will be scored uh, before the bread goes into the oven. The experiment loaf will go into the oven for five minutes and then be scored. Then it goes on to more steaming and then browning. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You can also buy some merch, use the super thanks, or use the links for tools and ingredients in the description. Those were the words. This is the experiment. This is an experiment, not a recipe. If you'd like to know how to make sourdough bread, there's a link in the description for my master recipe. All right, I'm going to run through this fast. I just want you to be sure that this experiment was done properly. I will make two loaves, a control, and one that I will score after five minutes in the oven. First, I mix everything for the dough. Then I let the dough rest for an hour to develop the gluten. After that, I do three sets of stretch and fold spaced out by 30 minutes. I put the dough in a cambro and let it rise to 25% and my proofer set to 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. When the bulk is done, I appreciate both loaves. And then I final shape them both. Then they go into my super cold fridge until the following evening. Then I heat my oven to 230 degrees Celsius, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I bake them. Notice how I don't score the experiment bread at this time.
Then after 5 minutes I take out the experiment bread. I score it. And I put it back in the oven. It was out for less than 30 seconds. Then after they're done steaming for about 25 minutes, I remove the top and let them brown for 20 minutes. Then I take them out and let them cool. All right, it's time for a new section I like to call visual inspection. First, let's look at the amount of room each bread opened up. Obviously, the opening is much larger on the control. And the experiment bread didn't get the same height and volume. It'll be even more evident when we look at the slices in a bit. So taking it out mid-steaming seems to be damaging to the oven spring. Okay, it's time to look at the crumb. Well, uh, looking at it from this angle, the experiment bread is almost as tall as the control, but it still suffered a bit. Let me smell them. Hmm, no big difference, but both have a bready and quite delicious smell, a slight tang. Let's try them. Mmm, really good. The wonderful whole grain rye from Kornbümühle is a big part of giving it a great taste. And the experiment. Tastes no different. I'd have been surprised if it had. All right, so that definitely worked. I was, to be honest, a bit surprised. Yes, the oven spring suffered a little bit. Maybe I wasn't quick enough with the scoring. Or compared to the videos on Instagram, it looked like they baked much longer before scoring. So maybe it's a 10 minute score. It was easy to score this way. And if the bread had baked a bit longer, I think even more so. That means it's a viable technique when you don't use a cold retard. I hope you learned something today. See you next time. You're still here? It's over. Go home.